Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on using expressions for consecutive, odd and even integers. Now remember from a previous video we saw how to represent even and odd integers in a generic way because we don't want to give specific examples. We want some algebraic way that we could represent any even or any odd number. And the reason we'd use these expressions for them proving certain things, for example, prove that the sum of three consecutive numbers is always a multiple of three, that kind of thing. Prove that the, the sum of three consecutive square numbers is one more than a multiple of eight or something like that, some statement like that. So remember that an even number is always two times a whole number. A multiple of two is gonna be an even number, two times something. So if we could write something as two times an expression, or let's just say 2n, that would be 2 times something. That would represent some even number. And similarly, we know that an odd number is one more than an even number. So if we took an even number and added one to it, this represents any possible odd number. So for example, like take the number 11, that's an odd number. That could be written as two times something plus one because it's two times five plus one would give 11. So it gives you a generic way of representing any possible odd number. Well, what about consecutive odd and even integers? So let's just say you had one even number of 2n. Then what would be the next even number? Well, let's think about an even number. Let's say we took the number 10. What would be the next even number? Well, clearly it would be 12 and then 14. How did I get that next even number? Well, I just added two. That gets you the next even number. So to get the next even number, I just add two and I would get 2n plus two. Not 4n, for some reason some students think that when you do 2n and you add 2, you get 4n. You don't, it's 2n plus 2. And you can't simplify that further because these are not like terms. They can't be collected together. Then if you wanted to get the next one, you would add 2 again, and that would be 2n plus 2 plus 2, which is 2n plus 4. Well, we want to start with an odd number of 2n plus 1. And... What would the next odd number be? Well, let's again think of odd numbers. If we had an odd number, to get to the next odd number, we would just add 2, and that would give us 9, the next odd number. So if we add 2 to this, we get 2n plus 3. And if we add 2 again, we get 2n plus 5. So those would be the next odd numbers. We just add 2 to get these. We could also find the previous odd numbers from this by subtracting 2. So if we subtracted 2 from this, then we get 2n minus 1. And 2n minus 1 would again be guaranteed to be an odd number. 